Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video on a fresh base. Um, by the way, I've had a lot of comments like, Code, what happened to your base? Did you get exploited? Did you get hacked? No, I did not. I'm starting over. And to explain why is because um, this was the base that I deleted to do the, um, the challenges with, uh, to do the speedrun. And I didn't realize that, like, I can't have the powers whenever you do it, so I couldn't use this one. So that's that's the reasoning. Um, now, for uh, today's episode, we are going to be building um, all of this area with walnut. No, no, not walnut. Uh, is it walnut? No, it's um, elm, elm trees. So we built the first part out of oak. Wait, did we? No, this is elm. Oh, I completely forgot to do oak trees. <laughs> so, looks like this part's going to be oak trees. And that shouldn't take too long. Uh, as long as this doesn't... Is this, is this going to freak out? It's it. What's going to happen is this is going to process... Okay, get. would you just please get in there? There we go. It's going to process and it's going to drop down right in there, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's put this through. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's not gonna, let's just drop that in. There we go. So, like I said, we were going to come over here <laughs> and we're going to process it through, uh, the shabby, which is set to one by ones, I think. And it's going to pop out the other end, but it's going to hit before we can do anything about it. I knew it. So grab this next one. And we'll just do one by ones for all of these. And that should work. Boop, boop, boop. I'll grab this one. We're gonna we're gonna need some more. Some extras. But uh, that's what we're doing today. We're just uh just relaxing in the sun of the beautiful lumber world. I hope you watched the uh the other episode, the Lamag episode that we had today, because I did show how to create the proximity prompts which by the way i think is something kind of new it's not like super new but it is uh it is very useful in developing roblox games in fact it's it's used a bunch it's very popular proximity prompt for all your proximity needs Do -do 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 -do. Just a little bit of speed building today. Anyhow, um, there. How how many uh, how many of you are off today? For uh, well, people in the U.S. Sorry, I know that there's a lot of fans out there who are not from the United States. Rotate, rotate. We're we're going to rotate these. I have a lot of people out of Sweden. By the way, shout out to Swedes. Everyone from Sweden. You guys have some awesome chocolate. Clocks that don't stop. You know, just amazing stuff. <laughs> God, that was very stereotyped. No, it's just... It's the truth. You guys are pretty awesome. I like Sweden. Uh-oh. Ah, I messed that up, didn't I? It's not to say I don't like any other country any less or any more. I'm just saying I... Like you. Go. Good, 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 good. Uh, now I'm going to need to move this other one, but uh, before I do, can we just pop these in here? Come on, there we go. I've noticed that the building system in lumber, although really good, really awesome, is a little off. It gets a little stuck sometimes, you know, and I've, I've started seeing a lot of other building systems that aren't quite as robust uh, as Taking the, the object, dropping it in, like taking taking the wood, dropping it on, it builds the the piece. I haven't seen any other systems kind of like that. Um, Defaultio did a really good job whenever he did that. In fact, I think that's what caught my attention and caught the attention of a lot of players at the very beginning was the fact that you could build your own things with the wood that you chopped. You know. Very good context. 
awesome context to the uh, the build system. But I think that might be too small. Too small? Yeah, that's too small. Boom. There we go. Um, but I really do enjoy how this building system works. Just pretty amazed. Uh oh. Okay. And we'll just drop that last piece in. Boom. Done. So that part is done. Uh, the last part's going to be the cherry wood, and that's going to be over here. Um, and then we'll have to go and get some more monies because we are running out of money. But, um, let's see. There was something I was going to talk to you guys about. I don't remember what it was, though, no. Uh, if you can't tell, my ADHD is absolutely taken away with me. It's, it's taken me away today. I am on the ADHD train, big time. Even my wife pointed out, she's like, man, did you take any kind of medicine for this one? No, no. And then she asked, did you have any coffee today? I'm like, no. So, I've, uh, I've been sipping on coffee for about the last hour. Mm. And just before I did the, uh, the programming episode. So I hope you watched the programming episode. That was, that was a lot of fun for me. and easy it's getting cold like it's it's been cold but the last week has been pretty cold just saying uh, I'm going to actually move my truck and we're going to take that shabby actually we're going we're going to take this saw max I'm just going to rotate it and set it down right here that way we can start dropping the cherry wood directly on it and filling, filling in the uh, blueprints. Um, if you, like me, have ADHD, um, put it down in the... Well, I don't, I don't want to point you guys out. If you want to, put it down inside the comments. Let me know who's got ADHD, who doesn't. And is it a proper diagnosis? Like, it's not just somebody saying, oh yeah, I'm totally ADHD. It's, you've been to the doctor, you've gotten a diagnosis, and they've actually recommended your medication, something like that. And parents, absolutely. If, if you do not want to place your children on any kind of medications for the ADHD, I've got no issues with that. That is purely your choice. Um, my wife was kind of the same way. And I, I said, I will absolutely stand by your side if you want our kids to try ADHD medicine, go for it. If not, I, I recommend it. I actually recommend uh, medication for ADHD. Now, that doesn't mean keep on ADHD medicine all the time, okay? It does stifle your creativity and uh, it's not the normal you. Um, but it does assist with concentration with uh, with school, with uh, homework, with the tracking of the mind. It helps. The ADHD medicine does help. Now, uh, I'm not on the same medications that I was in high school and in middle school. Uh, no, high school. Just in high school. Because uh, the medications I was on, they didn't truly understand what ADHD was, and I still don't think we truly know what ADHD actually is, because there's some people who say it lies on the same spectrum as um, autism and Asperger's. There are some who say it, lay, it lies inside the spectrum, uh, because you have you have high functioning autism and you have uh, low functioning autism. And um, same with Asperger's, there's, there's different varying degrees of which a person can have it. And I'd love bringing awareness to it. And um, a lot of people um, become ashamed or afraid to tell people about it. And parents, this is one of the biggest ones. Don't blame anything on it. If you feel like if you and your wife don't have autism or you and your wife don't have um, Asperger's or ADHD, something along those lines, 
do not say, oh, this is my fault. This is, this is something that I did. It's nothing that you did. Uh, in fact, I would beg to differ and say that this is an evolutionary change inside human beings that we are just now noticing and, and recognizing and seeing. You know, it could be a survival technique for us surviving in the future. Who knows? But the fact of the matter remains, it's here. It exists. It's not caused by vaccines. That's, that's another argument I'm not going to get into. <laughs> I'm not going to get into the whole vaccine anti-vaxxer thing, especially since we have vaccinations for uh, the coronavirus and all the other controversial things that are happening right now. I'm not going to get into it. Um, but it, don't blame yourself, okay? Um, I would hate... Like, my, my dad... And my mom, I don't know if they ever blamed themselves for me having ADHD, but I don't I don't want them to ever think that. Because I know it's not their fault. It's not something that they did. It's something that happened. It's something that I come with. It's part of me. It's who I am. It's not a disability. I hate that people call it a disability. I like to think of it as an evolutionary change to a superpower. <laughs> and it, it really is. In certain situations, in certain coding environments and computers, uh, things that pique my interest, tech, technology, it's a absolute godsend superpower. It, it, it's something that I love to do. I get called weird a lot for it. You know, I get called uh, eccentric, e eccentric sometimes but at the same time you know what i love it i love having adhd and I'd, i don't know if i would want it any other way I, I would not want them to cure me there's there's no way i would i would not be me if i didn't have adhd that sounds like a t-shirt logan logo we should totally we should market that i would not be me without my adhd oh <sighs> We need bumper stickers. We could do bumper stickers. I need sticky notes. Sticky notes that I need for when I'm recording and when I have brilliant ideas like that. Jack, take note. If you're watching, Jack, uh, I need you to write that down, okay? I would not be me without ADHD. Put put that on a t-shirt and then like ship it to me. All right, I'll pay you for it. Thanks. Sincerely, Code Priming. Um, what am I doing now? completely forgot what I was doing. Oh, we need more land. But I'm not going to be able to purchase more land, am I? Oh, gosh. I'm trying to hold shift to run. Shift. Shift to run. Ain't happening. By the way, we need lights. Uh, do I have enough for some floodlights? I can, I can grab some floodlights, right? Let's go grab some floodlights, and then uh, when the store opens up, We'll, we'll come back and we'll, we'll get some lanterns and stuff. Hello, Tom. Hello, Code. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, how, how have you been? I've been doing well this year. Yeah? Oh, you're talking about uh, New Year's and stuff. Yes, yes. Well, I've seen you a couple times before then. Yes, but this year's been very good for business. Lots of people are coming in needing wood things that I provide. Wonderful. What's the what's the biggest selling product you have right now? Right now, the conveyor belts. Everyone seems to be wanting to build a, a, their own personal conveyors. Really? I will have to check it out. Uh, do you have anybody recommend? No, no. There's plenty though. You could find them all on on YouTube. They've got plenty of videos of them building and and making. Really? I'll have to ask my fans about it. Your fans, sir? Yeah, the people. They're watching right now. I I have a. I have a camera on this. Oh, very good, sir. Well, tell them I said hello. I will. I will. Goodbye, Tom. Have, have a good day. You too, Code. Okay, so I've noticed something about Tom's voice. Um, whenever it first, whenever I first started Tom's voice, he sounded more like um, Bruce Wayne's butler. Not Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis is... Uh, Stark, Tony Stark's butler. Or is it, it was Tony Stark's father's butler, but um, 
I've noticed that he doesn't sound the same. <laughs> he sounds older now. <laughs> so maybe it could just be me getting older. I, I don't know. But his, his voice, it used to sound very proper, sir. He used to sound just like this. And now he sounds a little bit older. Like a combination of uh, Hoover and uh, Tom. Uh-oh. What did you open up, please? Thank you. There we go. Get a little bit of light on the base. And this way we can put this right down like that. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of lighten the place up a little bit. Am I going to need another one? I might, I might need one more. Here, hold on. Let's... Let's back that up. What does that look like? Uh, looks okay. Looks okay. I think I'm gonna have to go and collect some more money before we can do anything else. And we got about 15 minutes, so uh, let's do this. I'm gonna go over. We're gonna glitch out the uh, the area. Oh wait, do we need to go show you how to do? No, we're we're good. We're I'm not doing the lava wood at the moment but I will go up and do the solid pieces to the, the back of the truck. So, the uh, just the trunks. We've, we've been in for about 15 minutes, so should have, have plenty of trees up there. So first things first, we're gonna grab the tiny floor. And now we need to glitch ourselves out. Rotate. And we'll do a rotate again. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Rotate. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Boom. Okay. So, we should be able to go like this. Rotate. Whoa. Crazy. Rotate. Rotate. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Nope. Rotate. Rotate. Rotate again. Uh-oh. We're stuck in the ground. Stuck in the ground. Rotate. 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 All right, sit down. Rotate. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do we need to go in through the other side? Maybe. We may have to go in through the other side. All right, let's go in through, through this side. Ready? There we go. Get stuck up in there like that. That's crazy. Oh, hold on. Rotate. Wait, can we rotate from this side? Come on. See, is this is this why we have the spare tires? Is this what Tom was suggesting? Ginny was suggesting to us? When our cars get stuck in the solid blocks like this? Hold on. Let me let me get this out. Okay, not exactly where I was trying to get to, but oh no way! <laughs> Skills. Okay, you know what? We'll not worry about it. We'll we'll get it when we come back. Uh, I can hit B. I can move move that. There we go. <sighs> nice brisk air. You can smell the snow, the crispness the pine in the air as you smack into it with your truck. Turn, 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 turn. There you go. Ugh. I think... I think I want to show... how to create the same cars. Okay, so... Something, something that my ADHD brain was just thinking about. In these kind of cars that uh, Defaultio programmed, okay, when you walk up to them, you just step into them and you automatically sit, right? But that's only when you sit down on them. So when you're in jailbreak, you have to press E to sit on the, on the seat that's on the inside of the car, right? That's how it works. So... Maybe I need the do to do the proximity of the the car. I'll show both. I'll, I'll show you how to program both. But we'll have to do one at a time, and I'll have to make it into two separate episodes of how to make how they make that how they make that. 
H, how? We're gonna say how'd, H O W apostrophe D. How'd they make that? I don't know. Should we do how did they make that instead? That's a that's a thought. It's an idea. Which. All thoughts become ideas, and dreams become realities. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful, careful. By the way, if you're not able to do that, practice more. I know that sounds kind of mean, but it's it's really not. It's, uh, it is something that you can do. It just takes a lot of practice. And make sure that you have the, uh, the small blueprint, the small floor blueprint. That way, if you do flip over, you can always just keep going now we just want the trunks so let's only get the trunks oh gosh this is taking forever come on there we go just the trunk please Still takes forever, doesn't it? There we go. Grab that. Drop it in. I need to go get some money on uh, Projute and go up my rent because I haven't played Projute in quite some time. Uh, I'm kind of waiting until we can do our own private islands or our private maps. And yes, that is in the works. It is coming pretty soon. But that way you can invite in only who you want and it's not public. Which I feel will be a great detriment to the island and to the game. Of course, I, I think you have the ability to open it up as, as uh, public if you want, but... <clears throat> I would like to control it myself. and. It'd be great to have like two or three different islands if you wanted. If I wanted to create five different maps, but they're all generated randomly, that'd be kind of cool, you know? Should I have waited until I got back down to uh, do this? They're all going to go flying out of my truck, aren't they? Oh gosh. I just thought about that. That's, that's going to be horrible. Nice. Just the trunks, please. Just the trunks. If we hit this one, we have to hit less, right? Like, we still have to cut it down here, but we don't have to cut it quite as thick as the, the, the base trunk itself. Oh, no! That one died on me right then. Uh, oh, no! Another one died on me. Jeez. Okay, wait. Is this is this a big tree? This is not a big tree. Uh, we'll go to this one over here. We'll get this one. And that's about as big as some of the trunks, so we should be able to take all three of those. Right. We're at 23 minutes, so we got about six minutes left. Seven minutes left. I'm just gonna chop. We just want the trunks. The trunks should give me enough. I need 6,000, I think. Okay. That should that should be good for right now. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but that should be enough. Is that worth 2,000, two do you think? One, two, three, four, five. If I get two trees, that's usually worth the 7,000 that's needed to purchase everything. So, I don't know. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you guys something. So I'm on the keto diet, right? Which means I'm, I'm losing weight by eating fat. 
I know it sounds confusing. Don't worry about it. It's basically changing over from sugar as your fuel, carbs as your fuel, into pure fats as your fuel, which is normal for like caveman and stuff like that because we didn't have processed breads and wheats and stuff like that. We didn't know how to make bread. So the only thing we ate were like berries, nuts, um, meats, uh, fats from other animals. That, that was it. That's all we ate. So um, I bought this a long time ago. I, I, I bought it and it, I was too big to wear it. I was too fat. And I've been wearing this all day today. I have my YouTube shirt back. I am down to 245 pounds. I even took a break for uh, for Christmas and for uh, New Year's. Even even took a break last weekend so I could eat like peanut butter and regular foods and stuff like that. But uh, the bad thing about that is it, it takes me almost an entire week to get back into ketosis, to get back into the keto diet. So. That kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, that really sucks. Did, were, did you keep growing? You're bigger than you were. Come on, come on, chop down, chop down. There you go, that took forever. Like I said before, we could, we could probably take each one of these. Just the trunks, just the trunks, just the trunks today. There we go. Good. Now, a lot of you have said, Code, when are you going to play in public service? I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know that I'm going to play in public service. There's been too many problems going on. So, it's just me by myself, building alone in a lonely private server. Every once in a while, Grammy and Jack and some admins will jump in, but for the most part, it's just me. All by myself. No, wait. Is that the way that we drive down normally? You know what? Let's go crazy. Wee! Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. How am I supposed to get up there? Dang it. Alright, hold on. Can I, can I grab this? And... Can we set this against the wall? Like that? All right, that's that's not tall enough. Maybe I can do another one like that. Oh snap! Oh, almost. Hold on. Maybe if I send him against the wall like like this. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go like that. There you go. There's one. And slightly off centered. There's. Oh 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 oh. oh. Come here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. You got all tilted again. Don't go tilted. No tilted towers today. That was a Fortnite joke, by the way. Oh gosh. Come on, come on. Okay. Come on. Can I just jump up there, please? Please. Please. Ah, oh, okay. You know what? We've got more wood down here. Let's do this. Drop this here. Drop that there. Oh, oh, you got bouncy on me. You got bouncy. Okay. Drop that down. There you go. Stay. Now we'll go grab this solid piece. I really should have grabbed, grabbed some TNT as well, shouldn't I? Whoa! Uh, excuse me? Hello? No. Did we disconnect?
Well, it's definitely registering hits. That is weird. I don't know what's going on with that one over there. Okay, let's grab this one. What? I don't know! I don't know what's going on with them. It's like the network ownership is messed up for some reason. That's a, that's a lot of lag. That is a lot of lag and I don't feel like Dealing with it at the moment. Let's get in the car. Wow. For those of you that don't know what's going on, I can't sit down. I can't grab things. Like, this is... This is completely messed up. How's my internet doing? Network access. Internet's connected. Uh, let's go check out speed test. Speed test. Come on, speed test. Oh, okay. It might be my internet. Because I am having trouble getting to speed test. Speed test? Oh, no. Oh, no. I just got there. Nice and fast. Running 50 megabytes per second. 50 megabytes per second on the download. Oh, 45, 43, 44, 45. No, we're doing good. And upload speed is at 11 megabytes per second. So I mean, we're we're nice and solid. What is going on, Roblox? I have no clue what's going on with you guys. But I don't think I'm going to be able to continue. This is this is beyond me. Okay. Oh. Uh. Is it just this area? What is going on? Oh. <laughs> My apologies for what's happening right now. That's that's insanity. Insane. Can I please sit down in my truck? Come on. Can I please? You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to end it. There's, there is a glitchy bug of some kind happening inside the server, inside the game. It doesn't seem to be my computer. It doesn't seem to be uh, the recording software. It doesn't seem to be my internet. So I'm going to blame it on Roblox and that's it. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that we're supposed to call out at the end of the videos like good YouTubers do, but it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Be yourself. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.